buy a cup. Yeah, hi, can I get a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant in order of hash browns? guys welcome back hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic picking up a group here local in town going up to chicago going to spend the day there and uh, we're going to come back empty because after they're done with their tour we're going to take them to o'hare international airport where they will fly back to their home country it's about 5 30 right now and i gotta go feature up my bus so come on let's go Gotta have one of these too. But there's one thing I can't stress enough is that when you go on a long road trip, you gotta stay hydrated. I'm not saying Dr. Pepper's a really good hydrator, but um, I did get some water as well, so that makes up for it. Right? right? Yeah, yeah, it does. Hawthorne Suites where the group's gonna board. I bought myself some Dunkin' Donuts and I'm not sure if I want it anymore. What? No ketchup. These guys never give me ketchup. What the heck? I got hash browns but don't give me ketchup. Bacon, cheese, egg, all that good stuff. Because America lives on Dunkin'. Is that the motto? I probably won't be back home until 8 or 8.30 tonight, uh, depending on traffic. So if there is an opportunity to get a nap in, I'm definitely going to take advantage of it. We just arrived at uh, the Federal Bank building and I just dropped off my passengers there right behind me. Uh, looks like someone just got back on the bus. But man, traffic was brutal getting here. It's about 9.49, we should have been here by 9.30, so got here a little bit late. Not my fault though, I uh, can't help this traffic as you guys saw. So uh, right now we're going to shut the doors and head out because we can't stay here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go probably stage at uh, Union and Roosevelt where Jim's original is and uh, grab ourselves a hot dog and uh, chill for a second. And then we gotta come back and pick them up here by noon. So, uh, all right, let's get out of here. Guys, 
I never get tired of this. Cheers. I'm so happy right now. It's about 1131 and we're gonna be heading back to get our group here in a little bit. After that, we're gonna take them to Chinatown so they can eat. Uh, hopefully I can go loiter around. If not, it's no big deal. Uh, and after that, we're gonna take them to the planetarium. So let's go. Yeah, uh, we're here waiting for our group. Um, they're at, uh, I think it's LaSalle and Quincy. And it is, again, just a beautiful day in Chicago and I just love the backdrop behind me. The big clock tower on the building and the American flag and of course, my bus. It's currently 12.13, they should have boarded at noon, but they haven't. I don't know how long I can sit here. Uh, my biggest fear is the police is gonna run me off because uh, I'm really parked in a right turn or left turn lane right now. Uh, because that street in front of me is a one-way, so it's not really a parking spot. The cool thing about operating one of these is that uh, police usually leave you alone. They realize that you're not sitting here out of convenience for yourself and that there probably is a group. I mean, if I was in a personal car, yeah, you'd get shooed away. Probably one of the best parts about my job is being exposed to environments like this. I mean, if you like to travel and you don't mind being away from home, if you're a bachelor, this is definitely a good job for you. I started off driving a uh, motor coach when I was 21, and I have been in love with it ever since. It is absolutely a fun job. You can make a good living doing it as well. Because uh, we actually hired a 26-year-old. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to see that uh, the younger generation is starting to see this job. And I guess that's one of my goals of, of, of doing these vlogs, is to get people to see how much fun it is to do this. Um, I myself, I did. Ha I have an MBA, I went through college, and I had my choice of, of many different uh, careers, and I chose this one. Um, really nothing else uh, I'd rather be doing than this. Well, except flying an airliner, but that, that's another story, and, and that's another vlog down the road. So, uh, we're just gonna sit here and wait for our group, and once they get on board, we're going to head to Chinatown. I gotta get out of here because I'm kind of like blocking an entryway to a parking lot. Sometimes the place you want to go to, the architects or engineers, whoever designed the road, did not have a bus in mind. So there really was nowhere for me to park here. So now we're gonna go to a little secret staging area I know of and uh, hang out there for a while. So what's worse than getting a parking ticket on a motor coach? Getting graffitied on a motor coach. I feel sorry for the poor guy that's driving that thing. Sometimes I'm really hesitant to leave my coach sitting in certain places. Um, unfortunately, in this windy city, sometimes you just don't have a choice. You have to park where there's room. And uh, I don't know if this is like where he permanently keeps his bus and he, the, the guy rents this area or or uh, this is just a driver that's just chilling out here, but man, that's, uh, that's a rough day. lunch and we are here at the scenic observatory where the group is getting a group shot right behind me uh, of the lake and it is definitely a perfect day to be out here so 
Uh, I think after this, they want to go to Millennium Park. Um, so we're gonna go to Millennium Park after that, and then they, they're trying to squeeze in uh, one more stop at the um, United Center. And uh, I'm not sure if they'll have the time because their flight takes off at six. And it does take us a little bit to get from downtown to O'Hare, especially taking a Dan Ryan on a Friday um, as we near uh, the afternoon rush hour. So the group was at lunch. The group leader came back and surprised me uh, with uh, some fried rice. He said he got me some fried rice, and that looks really good. Got a piece of the bean sprout. Let me just make a comment that fried rice from Chinatown is so much better than fried rice from one of those greasy spoon uh, fake Chinese restaurants. I call them fake Chinese restaurants. So if you ask what's considered a fake Chinese restaurant, uh, Panda, Panda Express, I wouldn't call that Chinese food. Not that it's bad food. Um, some people absolutely hate it. I don't mind it, but I wouldn't call it Chinese food. But the, this fried rice is far from that. It, it's definitely quality fried rice. There's bits and pieces of egg in there with bean sprout and some uh, scallions. Mmm, so good. Is it bad that we're sitting next to Shedd Aquarium and I'm starting to crave sushi? We just dropped our group off uh, at Millennium Park. Uh, so just to recap, we went to the uh, Federal Trade Reserves building today. After that, Chinatown. Then we went to Lakeshore, uh, the, the Adler Planetarium. Now we're at Millennium Park. It's about 2.30 right now. It's actually 2.37. The group's gonna be back on by three so they can head back to O'Hare. I don't think we're gonna have enough time to go to the United Center. So our next stop is O'Hare. We're gonna drop them off. It's gonna be a quiet ride home just by myself uh, all the way back to the garage. We left downtown at uh, about 2.55, got to O'Hare at 4.30, and now we're just trying to get out. And as you can see... Uh, we dropped off the group. Plus it's how empty. Sorry, I wasn't able to uh, get any shots when we were dropping off O'Hare. The traffic was so crazy. Car to car, we're just kind of squeezing our way through. So we're just gonna drive back to the uh, facility. Hopefully, it's a smooth trip, and hopefully, this traffic breaks up once we get to 294. and we are back at the garage. I hope you guys enjoyed the trip. Uh, I had a great time. However, I am uh, completely beat and uh, looking forward to getting home and just relaxing for uh, the next two days. It's Friday and uh, I'm excited uh, two days off after this. So if you like what you saw, definitely uh, hit subscribe and uh, like and thumbs up down below. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, just drop me a line down in the description box. Thanks again for following along, guys. Hope you had a good time, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Toodles!